We've been working on this cabinet in the past couple of videos. Now we're going to take an opportunity to modify this cabinet to meet various needs. The simplest modifications are size adjustments. We want to adjust the size of the cabinet. We have to be at the project level and work on the project and work on the assembly. One simple adjustment to make would be to change the size. I right click on the red dot. I want to change the width. Now that change in width, again, right click on the red dot that change of width is going to happen there. So if I make it 48 inches wide, all of the changes will happen there in the middle. So let's try that. 48. Because the plane, that line, didn't touch this door, it was unaffected. The rule is anything to the left of the left of the line is unaffected. Anything to the right of the line gets moved by the change amount. Anything that the line intercepts, in this case, the rails, the top and bottom boards, and the backboard are increased in width by that amount. You can also decrease the size. So this assembly now is 12 inches wider than it had been. If I go into the assembly, I can make some more changes. For example, I can make this door wider. I look here and see the left of this is 30 and I can take that and make the right of that 30. I can take this door, change its width again, 28 and a half. If I change that to nine and a half, it's like that. And space that door to the left. I'm going to add two additional doors. I'm not going to allow any space between them and clone. Now I have three doors. I can take this drawer and clone it. Note that the top rail has a bottom value of 34 and a half. I'm going to take the top of my th third drawer and make its value 34 and a half from the bottom. Notice the top value is 29 and 7 eighths of the middle drawer. Now if I right click that bottom, this is going to be 29 and 7 eighths. Like that. So I have one, two, three drawers and one, two, three doors. And you can do that as much as you want in any fashion. I want to make the assembly wider without affecting the contents. Go back to the project level 
and simply make the right value of the assembly bigger, clicking on the width. What that's done is that's put in some extra space, make it a little bit bigger still, and go to 72. So I'm going to change that value, click the width button. Then I'll go into that assembly, take this sideboard and this style, come back here and do a clone and mirror. Take that and clone and mirror and just adjust the rest. If I look here, the left is 70 and a half. So the right of this is going to be 70.5, changing the width. Same thing here, 70.5, changing the width. The left of the right sideboard is 71. So this is 71. And if I spin this around, take the bottom board, make that 71. And the backboard, 71. I moved that board to be at 71, so that's a mistake. I can just take this red dot and with the shift key held down, go back there. Double check the right of that is one, and this also should be one. Like that. So now what I might do is take this door and clone and mirror it. Take this door clone and mirror it. And notice at the time, the left value of that is 51 and a half. So I can take this, take this drawer, make its right 51 and a half. And the same thing here, right click, 51.5 and one more time 51.5 if you need to add more space to the left or the front toward the left or toward the front you use the add space function. All so at the project level select the assembly and choose add space. My first addition is going to be I want to add three inches. And you'll see that everything's been moved over by three. Now I want to move it toward the back, that same three inches, like that. And I'm finished with that. And adding 
to the right as opposed to adding to the left. Adding to the right is, is simple. You just then say the width of this is 78, changing to the right. Now we've got three inches all around. For example, if you wanted to put a crown molding in. So those are ways that you can quickly take an existing design and modify it.